champion d'Italie contre la montre individuel, il est désespéré à son classement et avec lui, il y a deux retours. Donc, il y a... Hi, it's Jason Sumner with Bella News TV, and we're back here with Chris Horner at the start of Stage 4 in Beauvais. And uh, Chris, is it Stage 4? It's 5, I think. It's 5. It's 5. I knew it was too late. One, two, three. Hi, it's Jason Sumner back here at the Tour de France. We're here with Chris Horner at the start of Stage 5 in Beauvais. And Chris, let's just get an injury update. What's going on today? Oh, made it through yesterday without crashing, so that was a good thing. Hopefully just progressed nicely, got a good night's sleep finally, and it looks like today the transfer back to the hotel should be short, so should start being able to get some recovery between here and the next few days, and then the rest day coming up soon. You said the hand was okay yesterday then, yeah? Well, it, no, it hurts. It, it hurts quite a bit, especially when you hit bumps, but it's uh, these three fingers work, these two don't, and these are the most important ones, so I'm okay. <laughs> Okay, looks like we've kind of modified the glove a little bit, huh? Yeah, I got the glove modified, a lot of tape, and just a bunch of swollen on the hand. That's, but, uh, yeah, it's coming along. So, like I said, after if I can get through two days, two, three days without crashing, get to the rest day, I think everything will be all right. You had a chance to get another stage win for the team yesterday with Robbie getting his second steward stage win this year, and I think 10th yeah. all time. You guys probably a little party last night? Well, <laughs> there was no partying because Robbie doesn't get back to the table to about 10 because you got to do all the press stuff and then the control stuff and then you know he comes back to the hotel so there's just enough time to uh, uncork some champagne sip a sip a glass and then head off to bed basically but he's he's fantastic he's he's uh, one of the best sprinter I've ever seen he just does everything you just get him close and you just let him go okay last one what do you see happening today probably another day that you know Robbie could shine in Oh yeah, another field sprint certainly. I mean, yet now the other teams will want a field sprint even more than we would. So they'll be working, we'll be working. You have Boonen looking to protect the jersey and try to win a stage because he hasn't won a stage yet. And then you have Robbie, of course, who are going to want a stage and a few other teams out there. Fair enough. Chris, thanks very much. Thanks.
few chats and um, with Alok Vestohoshov, you know, he was uh, my, the best man at my wedding and um, he actually did some really mean jokes about me, but yeah, it's all part of the game. So, um, that was quite good today. Okay, tell me more about the, the race today because uh, we also saw some, some crashes. Uh, we saw Frank Slick go down and uh, how did you experience it? Well, I have to say, in generally speaking, the tour is a lot more relaxed this year and people also show more respect for each other. In fact, they, they, they rather touch your wheel or they touch uh, they touch your bike. They, they turn around and say sorry or scusa or whatever language they speak. So there's a lot more respect and people are a lot more calm. And okay, despite the fact that uh, Frank Schleck crashed, I still have to say this: the, the finish is a lot safer and better this year. You could really see that Tour de France organization tried hard to make like the, the run into the finish like a good smooth road, a wide road, no dodgy corners, no pavé sections, so they really try hard to make it safe and you know, normally a crash like uh, Frank Schleck was in, in the old days, uh, there would be 30 guys on the ground and today it was, I don't know, 3, 4. So the tour is a lot safer and better this year, I have to say. It sounds a little bit bizarre because just my colleague crashed, but as I said, normally in the uh, other years there would have been 20 or 30 riders on the ground. Last question, uh, the CSC team, uh, have you got anything uh, more to give uh, tomorrow? No, you see, um, sometimes cycling it's very, very simple and tomorrow is just another sprint that day. It's going to be exactly like today. Some uh, attacks in the start, then we're going to have a little breakaway, then the sprinter team's right tempo, they catch him in the end and the sprint again. So now, it's whatever you want to do, it's just no chance. So you have to just wait and, and, and look for a chance on another day. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. Let's just do a couple for Valenus. Who was just crashing on my bike? The, the, your mechanic just took it away. Okay. Just, no, 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 no. Uh, just real quick for Valenus. Um, just talk about the process of figuring out this team's role at this year's Tour de France and how obviously it changed a lot in the, you know, prior to the start of the race. I like the way you ask this question because like, I could never answer yes or no. I need to talk an hour about this. Um, yeah, obviously we had a change in strategy. That's, more than obvious. Um, I guess we take it a moment like more or less day by day. Um, in the moment we don't really have a 
team for this stages. You know, our option Stuart O'Grady is uh, out for the moment. We happy every day he survives. There's nothing more we can ask of him. Just to hang on and, and uh, go through that. Um, so that you know, we don't have any other sprinter or puncher in our team. So in the moment, we just we can't do anything except stay out of trouble, eat and drink, and save energy. And then maybe uh, our next option is uh, Sabrisky in a time trial, or then maybe the day before after me again for a breakaway. Uh, was not the, the first time that I was uh, in front. Uh, that this time I took uh, a little bit risk because I started uh, the sprint uh, too early and uh, nothing in the end uh, I I will have I, I had uh, only 10 meters uh, of distance but uh, in the end uh, was almost the the final never uh, I don't how do I say it? speak Spanish. <laughs> En, en el final eh, creo que se me hacía muy largo porque bueno, pues había salido muy pronto y, y nada, he eh, podido aguantar esos metros. Y you proved that you that you can, eh? that you can win these big spurts. Yeah, eh, I think eh, the most important thing is eh, to stay every day there in the in front. When you are eh, in front, you can win. The otherwise eh, it's impossible. So this time uh, I took uh, the uh, start uh, the sprint. Boom, boom. I won. It's important day, for, uh, important victory for the team because yeah, there was this this big lose of of Eric Decker. Eh? Yeah, uh, I think uh, uh, I want uh, I, I, I want to to make a good look uh, to to Brokin, uh, to Decker because. Uh, was uh, important to the France for, for him because it was uh, his last uh, to the France and and I hope uh, a good recuperation and a good luck for him. How's the situation at home? Because you're going to be a father, is you, are you? Yes. <laughs> yes, but not now. I, maybe in uh, one week, uh, ten days, uh, I will be a father. <laughs> Exciting, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not uh, it's not nice, but it's not nice to stay here. But it's uh, it's my work. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bedankt. Tom. Hij is altijd nog het grappige. Tom. Ja. 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 Ja.
I did my sprint in two stages and uh, it was a little bit too much to beat Ferreira. Tom, how hungry are you for no, a stage win? No, no, no. Very hungry. <laughs> <laughs>